Bring this shit up. Let's go. Easy. Easy. Keep and how are you guys doing today? This is Garrett coming back with another episode of Micromind Adventures. You guys have seen I've been pretty MIA for the past month, a little more than a month. I apologize for that. I've been absolutely swamped, swamped with uh, with schoolwork. Have final exams coming up in a couple weeks and uh, haven't really uh, had enough time to really put out a video, but I figured it's Thanksgiving break. Uh, I can finally put together a video and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So what this is is a tips and tricks video to improving your Micromon Adventures team. Now I recorded this video probably a, a week or two ago so I might be a little off with this commentary. It wasn't a live commentary. But um, oh as you guys can see in the very beginning uh, I finally hit 245 in the bench press. That was a pretty big day for me so it was kind of exciting. But um, going starting off this video, uh, looking at my team, one thing that you guys really should uh, focus on when picking uh, Pokemon for your team is their uh, the race. The race indicates how high their uh, their attributes can be, such as you know special attack, physical attack, uh, speed, special defense, normal defense, HP. Um, the higher the race, the uh, the better the Pokemon is going to be. And uh, another another really important tip to do is uh, do all these little daily events. You can do these daily events and get you know the free Mega Stones and Base Stones, which you can use to you know upgrade your Pokemon and uh, a bunch of Friendship Berries and Evolution Stones. So that's that's pretty important. I would definitely recommend doing those every single day. Uh, one thing that I don't think I did in this video is making sure that you star up every Pokemon. Um, starting up Pokemon is very crucial. You definitely want to make sure you try to get those as high as you can. Um, the red star is easy to get. You only need blue, blue uh, Stardust. But um, once you once you get it past that, you need the red, which is a little harder to get. But um, another thing that you want to do is make sure that you you beat as many gyms as you possibly can. Uh, beating gyms allows you to use this assist mode, where you can actually put Pokemon into these assist attributes which ultimately make your team better as you can see I switched the bag on out with that Steelix Steelix gives my team an extra 7319 uh, power which I mean that's like a pretty substantial amount of power compared to what it was before um, so other than like your six Pokemon the main Pokemon you want to make sure that you have a uh, backup Pokemon that you can throw in the uh, the assist mode because uh, ultimately those Pokemon will have an impact on your team. Oh, actually, as you can see right there, I actually did end up starring up my uh, my Dragonite, who I'm not sure if I want to add to my team or not. Um, contemplating. He's good. We'll see. But yeah, starring up, very, very important. Uh, going into this next clip, uh, you definitely want to make sure that you... I'm trying to think of what I, what I did here. You want to make sure that you... Uh, refine your IVs. That was one thing that I had a problem with earlier with the game was I always forgot to refine my IVs and they were absolutely deplorable and I got called out for it all the time and as you guys can see I mean a thousand to like eleven hundred is pretty solid that Arcanine was at 993 and needed work. Um, another thing that you need to do is equip all your Pokemon with as many items as you possibly can and what I usually do is I go and I buy a bunch of blue ones and I fill as many slots as I can with items and then eventually you can just overlap them with the uh, the better items such as you know the the orange and the red and, and the purple items. Um, usually I try to hit about six items per Pokemon that Garchomp only has four. Definitely need to work on that. But um, you know, going uh, going on with that, uh, you know, evolving your Pokemon, definitely very important. And uh, friendship. The friendship also increases the combat level of your Pokemon. Um, you know, my Tyranitar is at 55. That's fairly solid. Um, you know, the base stones, obviously, a very uh, important thing. Every single day you get these 30 trainings or, you know, every 30 minutes it 
you get another you know training thing and you know using those as many times as you can uh, definitely adds up your Pokemon can go from you know being a, a weak little thing to uh, to a pretty powerful Pokemon in a matter of days just using that uh, definitely a very very important thing to uh, to consider doing um, I've been playing this game for a while so I feel like I have a little bit of insight on it um, you know beating as many uh, as many stages as you can if you if you advance through a bunch of stages you get bonuses um, using other people's Pokemon obviously helps out a lot but uh, you know definitely uh, definitely an important thing to do my stage rank is not very good and I should definitely consider trying to do more of those but what I've been doing is uh, for my daily tasks I would kind of just do five stages a day because I'm afraid that I won't be able to beat more than five which is not true at all because you know I'm not even that high in stages. Another very important thing is the Z... Uh, I can't remember what this thing is. It's the Z. The Z thingy. Whatever. The Z thing. Uh, putting Pokemon to that. Very, very important. That, uh, you know, definitely uh, has a large impact on your combat. Or your combat. Yeah, your power. Um, I, I don't think I end up putting an A-plus Pokemon in there because as you can see I don't, I don't have any. But, um... Definitely try to upgrade that as much as you can. I'm not exactly sure of the the total effects that it has from stage to stage, but as a whole, uh, definitely increases the power of your team. Another thing, enhancing your equipment every single day. I mean, you do it once for your uh, for your daily achievement, but um, definitely should do it as much as you possibly can. Along with that, just you know, inlaying your your gems. I mean that's another another very important thing to do. Look at that, just 200 power just doing that. And along with that, you can also refine. So um, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. I'll I'll keep more videos coming in the future. All right, peace.